Hello everyone, Dead Poodles here, and welcome back to Destiny 2 Builds War Mind Edition. New builds drop every week, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. The Opath Hunter is a build that benefits from fast-paced, hyper-aggressive playstyle, holding nothing back and going all out for the win. Before we get into it, I would like to give a shout out to Couch Potato Gamers who made the custom thumbnail for this video. Be sure to check out their Twitch stream if you have the time. Link will be in the description below. With all that out of the way, let's get right into the gear. The Opaf Hunter is built around the Exotics, the Dragon Shadow, and the Huckleberry. One of the new SMGs from the Warmind DLC. If you're trying to stick to all new gear, the sealed Ahamkara Grasps would work well. But the Dragon Shadow does offer a bit more, and serves to round out the build, allowing Gambler's Dodge to be an extremely effective tool, and it matches the Iron Banner gear well. Looking back at the armor, we have the Iron Banner Helmet. All of the IB gear here will have the Season 3 ornament, with the helmet having a Void Ordnance mod to recharge grenades faster when using the Void subclass, Masterwork for Resilience, and the helmet for some reason is the only piece with a restorative selective, so I went with that just to bring the recovery up. The Iron Banner Gauntlets, with a mod to recharge grenades faster when using a Void subclass. Masterwork for Recovery. The Dragon Shadow Chess Piece, with the Tiamat Ornament. A Void Paragon mod, allowing class abilities to recharge faster when using a Void subclass. And the perk Wraith Metal. Dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speeds for a brief time. The Iron Banner Boots. With a mod that increases this armor's recovery, allowing you to recover health faster. Masterwork for improved resilience and the Iron Banner Cloak, with a mod allowing class abilities to recharge faster when using a Void subclass. Bringing this all together with the Night Stalker subclass, using Gambler's Dodge, which with Dragon Shadow, if done right, will recharge your melee ability, reload all weapons, and increase your movement and weapon handling speed. A Vortex Grenade that damages enemies trapped inside and goes well with the Smoke Bomb. Strafe Jump, which only allows for a double jump but grants strong directional control allowing you to change directions mid-air. And Way of the Trapper, mainly for Snare Bombs, which can be used offensively to deal small amounts of damage, slowing and disorienting enemies. And Vanishing Step to grant invisibility whenever you dodge. Looking back at the weapons, we have the Huckleberry, an absolute beast of an SMG added with the Warmind DLC. With the perk Short Action Stock, this weapon is especially easy to grip, greatly increasing handling speed. Rampage kills with this weapon temporarily grant increased damage and stack up to three times. Ricochet Rounds, rounds ricochet off hard surfaces with increased stability and increased range, fluted barrel, ultralight barrel, greatly increasing handling speed and stability, and ride the bull, increased rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger, kills with this weapon, reload a portion of the magazine. Backing that up with the last hope sidearm in the energy weapon slot, with the perks Zen Moment, Causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. Steady rounds. This magazine is optimized for recoil control, greatly increasing stability and slightly decreasing range. A control SAS sight. And an Omelon adaptive frame. Well rounded, reliable, fires a three round burst. Masterworked for a larger magazine size, increasing it to 30 rounds. Power Weapon is kind of dealer's choice here, but I found play of the game to work better in close quarters. With the perks, Threat Detector, Increased Reload, Stability and Handling, 
when enemies are in close proximity. Proximity Grenades. Grenades fired from this weapon have increased proximity detection. Linear Compensator. This weapon's launch barrel is well balanced, slightly increasing projectile speed, blast radius, and stability. And an adaptive frame. Master worked, but I need to re-roll it, because the reload speed is not really helping it here. Jumping into the gameplay footage, you can see how this build works. This is a highly aggressive build, but you still have to play it smart. And whenever you see yourself getting engaged in a very long distance firefight, you're gonna want to dip out. Try to find a way around and hit the team from another angle. This is a perfect example of it right here, where I still didn't have a good shot at them. I was barely hitting anything there. But I lured them in and got the whole team right there. Just like that. Take great care to avoid situations like this at all costs. I should have just ducked straight out. I had a teammate right there, and we would have ended up getting the kill. If you have power ammo, that does help make up for the lack of range that this build has. The key to this build is to stay focused and not get too carried away. Keep your eye on your minimap and keep your eye on your teammates. You do not want to be caught in a situation where the entire enemy team is facing you. The Huckleberry's 30 round clip does not go far, but as you can see, when done right, works wonders. I just took out the entire enemy team, and even though I died at the end, my team took the objective and turned the match around. Another thing to keep in mind when running the Huckleberry is its rate of fire increase the longer you hold the trigger down. Now unlike Sweet Business, with such a small clip it's not really beneficial to pre-fire. However, if a teammate is distracting your opponent, this is a great opportunity to melt them before they even know it hit them. And, in the worst case scenarios, if your 30 rounds run out with the Huckleberry, fast swapping to the last hope works wonders in close quarters. However, the way I have it set up is primarily for shotgun range and not really for anything outside of that. So Huckleberry is That's your long distance we weapon in this setup. With supers, try not to use them like you normally would because Way of the Trapper is not really going to get you a kill. That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like. It'll help others find it and is always much appreciated. I have new builds dropping every week, so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Follow me on Twitter at DPS United for more news and game related content. And the Faction Rallies return with Destiny 2 Reset coming this Tuesday, June 26th, so be sure to slam that notification bell so you know the minute new videos drop. As always, this is Dead Poodles, and I will talk to you all next time. I love it.